right, what are we up to today? <laughs> I've wheeled out the car uh, out into the sunlight and oh my god, it is just absolutely disgusting and pathetic in here. So today we are going to try and clean that out as best we can, ditch anything that we don't need. Uh, so I guess if this were uh, HDTV, you could call today Demo Day. We've got the engine back in the hoist, and I've got the engine stand out, so all I want to do now is just pull this trans off, get the engine in the stand, uh, and just organize and make room for everything here. Observation. That's probably not supposed to be like that. Release bearing looks like shit. There is a, a significant amount of silicone holding that together. Um, but otherwise it's off and hopefully it works. Back on the engine side, we've got a red pressure plate. I don't know if they're supposed to be red or if this is aftermarket, but we'll dig around for a part number or some kind of stamp and uh, do a little digging and see what the condition of this clutch is and if we need to replace or not. So it looks like we've got ourselves a little six puck here. Still don't know the brand, I don't know what XTD is, but uh, I don't know. This thing has definitely been used and abused, so I guess we'll probably go ahead and replace that. Oh, flywheel time! Top tip, pro tip, just the tip. Keep the flywheel from moving. Thread a bolt into the housing, through your wrench, back into the flywheel, and that'll lock it in place. Boom! You didn't lock t <laughs> oh, you didn't lock tight the flywheel bolts. That's not cool, man. So I'm glad that I actually took the time to pull all that off. There's definitely a leak at the rear main seal, which probably explains all of this gunk everywhere. So we'll get this cleaned up. We'll re 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 replace that rear main. And uh, I don't know, let's just get this thing in the stand. Ah, one more question. So this open area here um, below the oil pan, so flywheel comes out here. It looked like this was kind of open to the bell housing. Uh, 240 experts helped me out. Is there supposed to be some kind of shield here to protect that? I, I would think so. Um, but I don't know. I've never looked at one of these before. So any help, much appreciated. Post it in the comments. Thank you kindly. Pro tip number two. Tag it and bag it.
got so much done. Picked up so many parts. I think we've got everything that we need now. Totally stoked. Uh, thank you again to everybody that I met up with this weekend. Appreciate the parts, appreciate the knowledge. It was nice meeting you. Thanks again to Ryan, uh, Cuz Daddy. Check out his channel. Thanks for coming over today, helping me out here, getting everything cleaned out of this engine bay. I think we're in a really good spot. Uh, just need to pull a couple more things out, clean this up, fix this rust, which we'll do on the next episode. And then we'll um, turn our attention to that engine, get that prepped and ready, tore it, tear it down, clean it up. And I'll do gaskets on everything in preparation for some of these choo-choo turbo parts. Thanks again to everybody who has subscribed recently. I really appreciate that support. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoy these videos, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Um, I don't make any money off of this, but once we hit 100 subscribers, then I get to do a couple more things with YouTube, which is uh, I guess the next goal that I have here with making these videos. So thank you for your support. If you enjoy the videos, like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.